What problem frequencies are you always cutting? In this video, you'll learn about five problem frequency areas that are often cut with EQ and how to tell when you may have cut too much. These are the five ugliest frequency ranges that you should know. Learn audio engineering. Learn audio now. Sound strategies to sound goals. Number one, sub 30, the rumble. We can hear below 30 hertz, but much of that energy in speaker real estate is wasted noise and rumble that doesn't really contribute to the mix. This range is usually cut on everything, even the kick and bass. The 20 to 30 hertz range may be present in EDM drops and choruses to momentarily extend the low end, and you can increase the impact of that low end by trimming the fat below 30 hertz in the previous section, which will usually tighten up the bottom end. It's common to high pass beyond this to make some extra space for your low end instruments. However, don't go too far or you'll risk a weak sounding mid range. Increase the filter cutoff until you hear the sound thin out and then move it back a bit. If you solo the track and add in a low pass filter, you can hear all of that mucky rumble that you've cut out. Number two, 134 hertz, the boom. This is an ugly, boomy resonance common in acoustic guitars, electric guitars, vocals, and bass. Cutting out some 134 was a trick that I learned as a recording intern from one of my mentors. He absolutely hated this frequency and he would always show me on the EQ that this frequency was always a nuisance and it would end up with a much cleaner mix with a small cut at 134 on a few key instruments. Number three, 200 to 300 hertz, the mud. This swampy muck is a result of low mid buildup, common in guitars and bass, and it's often cut in kicks, often just a little bit higher, sometimes closer to 400 hertz. And there's usually something going on in this low mid area that requires some attention, but don't cut away too much. This range is necessary for warmth. Yeah, I know everyone hates that word. Back up, Michael. You know I'm gonna slam you on the word warmth. Is that what you did just then? Warm is another word for dull, Michael. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, what I do is I brighten up the top when it's warm. <laughs> warm, meaning not harsh and bright. It's the fullness and low end presence that makes your mix feel intimate and warm. 300 Hertz is also the lowest frequency reproduced by many consumer device speakers like laptops and smartphones, which means it's this range that's necessary to have for bass that cuts through on smaller speakers. Number four, 3.3 kilohertz, the piercing shrill. It's at this point in the Fletcher Munson curve where our human ears are most sensitive. This is also the frequency of your average smoke detector, doorbell, siren, or other sounds designed to get your attention. It's incredibly necessary for the intelligibility of speech and presence, but too much of this frequency will fatigue the listener and have them reaching to turn down the tunes. And finally, number five, six to eight kilohertz, nails on a chalkboard. This is screechy sibilance and spine tingling scraping. This is a frequency area that's common with finger-picked guitar and it's often associated with nails on a string and sharp S-like sounds. It is an important area for the attack of transients like kick and snare and in vocal brightness, but this is an area that's commonly de on vocals because although it is paramount to the intimate and hi-fi nature of the voice, if you add in some sibilant syllable sounds, it's like ice picks in your ears. So those are five problem frequency areas that I know about, places that I'm usually dipping out on one or more instruments, and I'd love to hear what frequencies give you a hard time and what you find yourself often cutting with EQ, multi-band compression, or a de -esser. Let me know in the comments. If this video helped you out, give it a like, and if you're new, I invite you to subscribe to the channel for fresh weekly content, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Super question, Dave. Okay.